Hello you guys. Um, in this video we are going to continue on in the unit 1.1 notes um, with topic three. The good news is this is a really short topic um, where we're going to be looking at um, or reviewing what acids and bases are. Um, and so in the last topic we talked about different properties of water. In this topic we're going to talk a little bit more about water uh, starting with the fact that whenever you have a bunch of water molecules, um, there's always going to be some small amount of water molecules that actually dissociate and separate into hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions. So um, a very small amount, if you had a glass of water, inside that water, pure water, um, some of those, a very, very small amount of water molecules will actually break apart into OH minus ions, which are called hydroxide ions, and H plus ions, which are called hydrogen ions. Um, sometimes we just call these protons. You'll see that come up a lot this year, um, but that's just a hydrogen ion. And so, very, again, this is just a, a, sm a small number of water molecules are going to do this always. And so in pure water, um, that's going to create a situation where there are some hydrogen ions and there are some hydroxide ions, but the, the concentration of the hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions is going to be the same. Okay, so like the amount of OHs is always going to be the same as the amount of H pluses um, in pure water. Um, now, what happens though is a lot of times um, what we're looking at is we're looking at uh, solutions. A solution is when something is dissolved in the water and there are certain substances that when they dissolve in the water they're going to change the concentration of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions and when substances do that we call them um, acids or bases so an acid is specifically referring to a substance that when you dissolve it in water that substance that chemical causes the hydrogen ion concentration to go up and the concentration of hydroxide ions to go down. Um, by the way, real quick, these brackets just stand for concentration. So they're saying the amount or the concentration of hydrogen ions um, is going to increase and the concentration of hydroxide ions is going to go down. Um, if, if you have a substance that's doing that, we call that an acid. Um, now a base is a substance that does the opposite. If you have a, a base, that's a substance that when you dissolve it in water, it causes the hydroxide ions to increase in concentration and the hydrogen ions to decrease in concentration. And so um, that's going to affect how acidic or basic the water is. And the acidity of a solution is going to be determined ultimately by the concentration of hydrogen ions. So the concentration of hydrogen ions is ultimately what we're gonna use to measure the acidity of a solution. And um, we often express the acidity of a solution in terms of pH. So this should sound very familiar. pH is a scale that ranges from zero to all the way to 14. Um, and this is kind of a, a very a, a simple, simplified way to compare different acidities is by seeing what their pH values are. And so there is a formula that's used to calculate pH, but it's based off the concentration of hydrogen ions. Basically, you take the negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ions, you plug that into a calculator, and that's going to give you pH. Luckily, and that's something you should have done in your chemistry classes, but for this class, um, you don't need to do that. You're not going to be, you don't need to know this formula. You don't need to use this formula. No one's going to ask you to calculate the pH, but very often you're going to see questions where they refer to the pH of different solutions. And so you're going to have to understand what that means. And that's what we're going to focus on in a moment. Um, for water, for example, the concentration of hydrogen ions is 1.0 times 10 to the negative seven or um, molar. That's the concentration of hydrogen ions in pure water, which is the same as 0 0.00000001. It's a very small number of hydrogen ions. But if you take the pH of that, um, you plug that into a calculator, that's the pH of seven. And so hopefully you already know that water, pure water has a pH of seven. And um, basically what's gonna happen is the higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, that's going to cause the pH value to lower. So the more H pluses you have, the lower the pH is going to be, okay? Um, and then the less H pluses you have, the higher the pH is going to be. 
And so anyway, you're going to end up with pH values that range from 0 to 14. Now in a neutral solution, like water, pure water, the concentration of hydrogen ions and OH ions is going to be the same, and the pH will always equal 7. Okay, when you have a situation like that, kind of like this beaker here, you have some hydroxide ions, you have some H plus ions, it's about the same concentration of each, and so that's going to be a pH of 7 or, or what we call a neutral solution. Now an acidic solution, that's when the concentration of hydrogen ions is greater than, greater than the concentration of hydroxide ions. So there's more H pluses and less OHs, and that's going to create a pH that's less than 7 which kind of makes sense because if you remember what I just told you, the more H pluses you have, the lower the pH is going to be. Um, so the pH is going to be less than 7 in an acidic solution, and that's because there's more H pluses and, uh, than there are OH minuses. Um, and so that's like this beaker right here. You can see that in this acidic solution, there are OH ions, there's hydroxide ions, but there's more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. The concentration of hydrogen ions is greater. And the more acidic a solution is, the higher the concentration of hydrogen ions is going to be, and the lower the OH minus concentration is going to be, and the lower the pH is going to be. So that's that's a, a relationship you're going to need to memorize. That might have sounded like a lot, but basically you need to know that the, the lower the pH, the more acidic a solution is. And in those lower pH solutions, there's going to be a higher amount of H pluses and not as much OHs. So the lower you go down on this scale, the larger the concentration of hydrogen ions is going to be and the smaller the OHs is going to be. So if you look here like um, uh, lemon juice, for example, has a pH near 2, whereas um, black coffee has a pH of 5. Now they're both technically acids. They're both acidic solutions. The pH is less than 7. And in both black coffee and in lemon juice, th that's because there's more hydrogen ions than OH ions. But then I can further say that lemon juice is more acidic than black coffee because it has a lower pH, which means that in lemon juice, there's there is going to be a higher amount of hydrogen ions than in black coffee. There's going to be an even more abundance, a higher concentration of hydrogen ions than black coffee and less, a small, smaller amount of OH ions. So the hydrogen ions are going to dominate more and more and more as the pH lowers. You need to memorize that. Now in a basic solution, you're going to see the opposite thing happen. Basic solutions are also called alkaline solutions. So alkaline is a fancier word for basic, but that's a word you're, prob you're probably going to see more often in this class, alkaline, but it means basic. And that's when the concentration of hydroxide ions, the OHs, is greater than the H pluses. So anytime you have a situation where there's more H OHs than H pluses, more hydroxide ions than hydrogen ions, that's going to be a basic solution, like this beaker right here. This is a basic or an alkaline solution. There's more OHs, not as much H pluses. And that's going to result in a pH that's greater than 7. Um, and you're going to see the opposite trend occur. So the more alkaline a solution is, the more basic it is, the lower the concentration of OH ions is going to be, and the higher the concentration of OH ions there's going to be, and the higher the pH. So it's the exact opposite of moving down on this scale. Moving up on this scale is going to be the opposite. So you need to know that the higher you go up on the pH scale, the higher the pH value, that's going to be a more basic or alkaline solution, which is going to have a smaller number of OH or a smaller concentration of hydrogen ions and a larger concentration of hydroxide ions. So again, if we compare some of these as an example, um, like for example, uh, seawater, like the ocean, the ocean has a pH near eight. So it's, it's slightly basic. Um, but if you look at, uh, let's just look at bleach, a bleach solution is very basic. It's a very, very alkaline solution. And so both of these are bases. Both of them have a pH, um, greater than seven, which means in both solutions, both types of solutions, you're going to see more OHs than H pluses, but in bleach, you're going to see a lot a huge dominance of hydro hydroxide ions, OHs, and very few hydrogen ions. So this trend that you see with these arrows, this is what you need to understand about pH and the relationship it has with acidity or how basic a solution is and the concentration of H pluses versus OH minuses, depending if you're going up and down on this, this scale. So keep that in mind because this is going to trick it happens every year. This tricks a lot of you in the future, um, especially when I talk about pH. 
Um, you guys have this habit in your head of default thinking that when the pH is higher, there's more H pluses. That's a common thing students think. Uh, that's a common way students think sometimes by accident. So they think like, if, oh, you have a higher pH, that means there's more H pluses. And you need to, to know, starting now, that that's not true. The higher the pH, the less H pluses you have. The lower the pH, the more acidic it is, and that's going to have more H pluses. So really, a pH closer to zero is going to have a lot of hydrogen ions. So just keep that in mind and don't get tricked in the future. But that is actually it for um, these notes, super short. So hopefully all that made sense. Um, that's the end of topic three. I'll see you guys later.